guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to flash the Nusantara project LTS version which is a long term support and based on Android 10 and this is a stable version and let's get it started and let's see how to flash the ROM so first of all when you guys will download that ROM you guys will get that ROM in ZAR format so we have to rename that uh, in zip format so that we can flash because on TWRP we can flash ZAR format so press and hold and just click on rename and just rename the file to zip format so rename it you guys can see now it's in jar for uh, zip format like other rooms so now let's get into the TWRP So we are now in tab Lord P. Let it be decrypt. Now you guys can see it's decrypted. Now go to wipe option and select those files which you always select. The Dell Big Data Cache System and Vendor and swipe to wipe. And if you want to do a clean flash, and I always recommend you guys to flash. Uh, if you want to flash ROM, then do a clean flash, then the ROM will perform smoothly, so no issues. Just go to format and type yes. You guys already know that things, and if you are new, then follow that uh, steps. And if you already know that system, then skip the video, no problem. And now you can reboot to recovery again, and if you don't want to, then no need. Then just navigate to the folder where you have stored your uh, ROM file and select the ROM and flash. And remember one thing, this ROM is a vanilla version. This is not a GFs build. So we need to flash GFs separately. So you guys can see here, Nusantara LTS, Android 10. And of course this is official ROM, you guys can see there. And now swipe to flash. And wait some time. So you guys can see ROM already flashed. Now let's flash the Google Play Store, which is G Apps. And I'll drop the link in description. No problem. Of oh, what is G Apps? Here it is. So here I'm gonna flash the Pico version. Here you guys can see the Pico version, and this is for Android 10. This is not for Android 11. Remember this thing. Just swipe to flash. And if you guys want to root, then uh, flash the magic manager after flashing the open gaps and I will suggest you guys to flash the magic version 21.4 and which is really good So flash almost done. Now we will flash the magic manager. Just navigate to the folder where you have stored your magic, and here we go. The 21.4. Select and swipe to flash. If you want to root, then flash. Otherwise, no need. You can reboot system now. So you guys can see magic has been flashed. So now just click on reboot system and wait until device boots up. So you guys can see the device uh, boot animation so device is finally booting and after completing setup I will uh, provide a short review of the drum uh, how is the performance and how is battery life and how is the gaming everything I will talk in this video later.
so you guys can see final device is booted so after completing setup i'm back with the review guys so now let's get started from the setting about section the android version 10 you guys know and this is a stable version and lts means the long term support and we have a very little security patch level and the kernel is ceylon tr and you guys already know that this is really good for gaming and nusantara all is known as good because it's gaming performance and i really appreciate that this room also uh, good for gaming you guys can do gaming no problem i played call of duty for uh, more than one hour and 30 minutes and it was a smooth experience because uh, i use modules and if you don't use modules uh, then you guys can use that in low graphics no problem and you can play smoothly no problem uh, as it is a gaming room i can say and now let's talk about the safety net which, uh, where is that and you guys can see it. the safety net is passed and let me clear a few things this is not a gf's build this is a vanilla version so you guys need to install uh, google play store separately so it's your own choice which you want to install and i will drop uh, one gf's link in description and after flashing those things if you face that your um, device is not certified and uh, your safety net is not passed then follow my process right now after flashing magics just go to setting enable magics hide and then go to module and then install that module magic site props and then download terminal application and open it and type ACU and it will take super user right and then type props I showed this process on my previous videos and I already made a separate video on that you guys can get on iCard or you I will drop the link in description you guys will get it and you guys can or you guys can follow this process and you guys can ask me uh, why I'm doing all this uh, to pass safety net. I can enable magic hide and I can reboot device and it will be passed. No, the, for this room, uh, this, this uh, process is not working. So in that room, this process is not working. That's why I'm doing this terminal method. So now you guys can, you guys have to choose the number one active. You guys already you guys need to change the fingerprint so now type f we have f here so to pk certified fingerprint and now we have all the models here so we uh we have xiaomi so that's why just check out the number the number 30 is xiaomi so we have xiaomi all devices model name here just get your model number here uh which is realme 7 uh, global we have the 58 number just click on that 58 and you can choose according to your region which is europe global india whatever just click on that and type yes type yes and your device will reboot and your problem will be fixed the safety net problem will be fixed no issue on that and just follow this process and i am using here the oxygen waste launcher and you guys already know about that launcher i showed in my previous video and let's talk about this just go to home setting and double tap to unlock and log is working pretty much fine no issues and we the most important thing is that and most important thing is that here uh, the hidden space we can hide application here and we can lock application here and you guys already know that and how to use that just swipe like this and we have a hidden space and then you guys can uh, use that feature and other things like bluetooth hotspot and everything is pretty much working fine and we have that night light and we always uh, had this issue with nusantara and night only night light is not working and every other things is working no problem others are working and uh, fps info is also working no issues on that and look uh, look look into the setting what we have and nusantara wings which we have extra things and also uh, First of all, let me show you the YP settings here. We have those feature only in network settings. And Nusantara Wings, we have the extra customization. You guys already know Nusantara parts. You guys can check uh, yourself, no issues. 
and the important things we uh, they have provided here so button navigation power menu and everything advanced restart menu everything we have here no issues on that and everything just working pretty much fine and the geekbench score finally let me show you now this is the geekbench score which is uh, which is uh, very close uh, to the android 11 we're not very close uh, sometimes is better than android 11 so you guys can see single core score is 264 and on my previous videos uh, which i showed the 265 265 on android 11 and 264 in android 10 so you guys can see. how good is that room you guys can see here how good is that room so no problem and if you guys can uh, if you guys believe me then you guys can use that room no problem on that and of course the gcam link i'll drop the link in description and you guys can use that gcam and my battery is getting low so that's why uh, now it will stutter and last of all battery section and you guys can see the battery i played games more than one hour and 30 minutes and i used at four hour 47 minutes it's still you guys can see so battery backup is really good you guys won't be disappointed for that and hope you guys uh, like the video and if you guys really like that video then do subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss the further update so thank you for watching